Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about four tips for building a business while going to college. And it struck me that I should make this video. I am effectively in the second half of my junior year and halfway through the second semester in university uh, studying philosophy and for those of you who've been watching my videos for the last year and a half or so that I've been doing this you know that I've been very interested in entrepreneurship and trying to build uh, Rooks and Queens which is a clothing brand for gamers and I haven't talked too much about it but I'm also uh, starting a second business or I've been in the process of doing back-end stuff to build a second business that I'm not going to talk about but it is a service uh, service driven business rather than a product business and so as I've been doing this over the last semester there have been a couple of moments and, and thoughts and just different things that have occurred and it struck me that you know entrepreneurship is really like popular right now uh, I think this probably started after like the social network came out and a lot of kids of people want to drop out of college to you know pursue this idea or some people don't want to go to college and I don't have any sort of uh, opinions on, on, on what you should do but I do believe that it is possible for an individual to both go to university and build a business at the same time so this video is for those people people who want to do both and I think the first thing that so this isn't a tip, but I, I you have to emphasize patience when you're talking about school and business because I mean business starting a company it, it takes up it takes up more than 40 hours, right? Like it takes up your energy, your time, your your mental capacity, just so much. And if it's something that you're really passionate about, like you really can't function without doing it. Like you'll you'll just do it no matter what else is going on around you in life. So, yeah, I, and, and you know, college has become such a staple in, I guess, like American culture that a lot of people just feel like that's what they, it's the natural progression for, for life. And so, but if you are really someone who has a passion and you, you just, you're gonna do it no matter what, these are four tips for you and I, I wrote them down. Um, the first one is school first. Now this one's kind of boring and it's not really exciting, but it's the truth. School has to come first. If you're, you know, whether it be a test, homework, exams, um, quizzes, like papers, you have to get these things done first. You have to get these things, you have to get these things done first. Get a planner. Have this stuff written out in the beginning of the semester. Know when quizzes are coming up. Know when assignments are going to be due, right? Like school has to, has to come first because you're spending money and to go to school. So like, There'll be times where like on a Saturday, you'll want to maybe work on your store or something, but you also have a paper due Monday and you just have to be able to say, okay, like I really want to work on my business, but like I have to mark out this five hour block to write this paper. But what I recommend is rewarding yourself after doing that. So like I often look forward to doing my business stuff because it's not really work. So getting the stuff done that I don't want to do so I can do those other things, which leads me to uh, tip number two, which is time management. This is really cliche, but it's the truth. I already talked about getting a planner, um, you know, kind of knowing where things are going, what assignments are going to be due throughout the semester. But time management in college is not just uh, about your schoolwork. It's also about your social life. It's about your eating habits, your sleeping patterns, going to the gym, right? Like these things Anyone who's built a company knows that your business is a reflection of you. So if you're not doing well in some aspect of your life, it's very likely that your business is going to suffer as a result. So, um, yeah, priorit prioritization and time management, that's kind of like one and two, which leads me to tip number three, which is sacrifice, right? Like you're going to have to sacrifice things. I am not, so primarily what you're going to have to sacrifice is extracurricular time or time spent doing extracurricular activities whether this be you know uh, recreational sports or um, you know greek life any of whatever else there is on campus club activities these sort of things right like 
those things take up a lot of time. They take up a lot of energy. And if you're someone who like building a business, if you're a true bred entrepreneur, like you can't live without doing it and pursuing it. So like those things won't really seem like sacrifices, but they can still, I mean, they are sacrifices. So, I mean, my honest like thoughts around this is that I'm, I'm not saying that if you're trying to build a business and go to school that you shouldn't be involved in other activities contrary i think you should be involved in other activities but they need to be very select one re, one is really the most but two at absolute most and they need to be part of your schedule and part of your you know your time management that we talked about in, in tip number two and make sure that you're orchestrating and hopefully the activities you're doing are some way furthering your business and i do think that being in a fraternity or sorority can further your business whether it be through connections or you know just having a, a cohort of people who are going to help you that you can like fall back on and you can bounce ideas off of and maybe help with marketing or whatever it is. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts around that. And then number four is financial management. School and college is very expensive. It's very stressful. Um, and building a business is, it just compounds that whenever you're going to school because it, it takes money to make money right but like I said earlier your business is a reflection of you and so if you're financially out of control you don't know what money you have coming in you don't know what money you have going out you're not budgeting you're not just being like basic financial management um, you're not gonna be able to grow and sometimes this involves putting things on pause so for example this last month I recently paused my online store because because of the my my income flow i just like saving 15 dollars on a shopify plan for one month that goes a long ways because that's 15 more dollars of the facebook ads or you know buying a, a shirt that i'll be able to do a photo shoot with or something like that so every dollar counts and maybe it's getting a, an extra job getting getting yeah getting a job or you know going garage selling and flipping stuff uh you know hustling like finding ways to get income rather than snow like i when i lived in the northeast like there was always people who wanted their uh doorways shoveled whatever you know i'm talking about car whatever um yeah so financial management it's just gonna help you mentally and you know, it's your own personal finances. If, if you're not, if you're not managing those, you're not going to be able to manage the finances of a company. So those are my four tips. I hope this was useful. Um, I think that these are very practical and I think that these are just kind of like very high level tips and probably in future videos, I'll, I'll get into some more nitty gritty about how you can balance, you know, these two different aspects of life. I look forward to making more videos about that, but I'm also interested to know what you guys think. If you have any tips, leave them in the uh, description box below. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter at elima underscore iii. See you in the next video. Peace.